it's uh, rather simple, isn't it? When I see U.S. imperialism, NATO, Angela Merkel, the Tory liberal government, the fascists and Nazis in the Ukraine on one side, I know what side I'm on. Those who can't see that, well, I quote the Bible as comrades do. I like to quote the Bible. I'm Welsh. <laughs> Eyes have they, but they do not see. Make your mind up, comrades. I think people in this room have made their mind up that we're going to act decisively on this question. I think the most important contribution from the floor was made by the comrades from the RMT. We do require a broad movement, yes, but a movement based on the labor movement. Why? Because only the labor movement, when it's mobilized and united in struggle, has the power to prevent and to block the actions of the imperialists in relation to the Ukraine or any other country. I think this is an important point, and we rely on the Commons of the RMD to take this into the broader labor movement with other trade unions such that the trade unions make their voice felt on this uh, vital question. One final point. It must be, the point was made by, the, by I think, uh, Dimitri, isn't it? This must be an international campaign. Yeah. It is monstrous, frankly, that the left does not take an implacable position on this question. Let this meeting comments be this, the launching pad for a mass movement of the labor movement, not just in Britain, but internationally, against fascism in the Ukraine. And yes, I would add, the struggle against fascism is, uh, fascism is unthinkable and sterile unless it's clearly linked to the struggle against oligarchs, capitalists, landlords, and imperialists on a world scale. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Uh, yeah, well, only one or two points I want to make uh, in reply. Of course, there are women here who have spoken from the Ukraine. They have every right to their view and their argument, and we're not going to solve all the questions of Ukrainian history here tonight. But we have to intervene in British politics, in the situation here, uh, and we have to orient ourselves clearly on what is important. If we are building a campaign, we need to be emphasising, firstly, the danger of war arising out of the situation in Ukraine, because of the aggressive drive eastwards of NATO and the EU. We have to be supporting a democratic, peaceful solution to the divisions in the Ukraine, and we have to be highlighting the nature of the policies that are going to be forced on the Ukrainian people at the behest of the EU. Obviously, I can't argue, don't wish to argue with people from Ukraine who have a different view, but I do want to take on the view of, that was raised by the man in the brown shirt. That <laughs> this is, if you are sitting here in Britain and our bombers, or bombers supported by the West, are dropping bombs on the civilian population in the East, when our government is backing fascist mobs rampaging, attacking civilians, and then you come here and say the whole problem is Russian imperialism, you are betraying the values of the Labour movement and the left. Thanks, Andrew. And Boris, is Boris still online? Um, so Lindsay, Boris, are you there? Lindsay, can I ask you? Can I think probably back? we lost them during the discussion. Um, uh, just a couple of points uh, to follow on from what the previous speakers have said. You see, I think it's absolutely right that people have different views and very strongly felt different views, and that's obviously entirely their right. But we're here to set up a campaign which is in solidarity with the people who are fighting against fascism. People can decide whether they want to do that or not, and that's entirely up to them, and I hope most people here will. If they don't want to, well, there's plenty of other things that, uh, that they can get involved in, and that's, that's perfectly all right, and that's what it's about in a democracy. But I would like to ask a couple of questions. You know, to the people who say that, you know, this is the story we've got is all wrong, 
are you saying that what the EU is doing in Eastern Europe is okay with all its neoliberalism, with all the rest of it, and all the su supposed respect for democracy and against discrimination against minorities, which they preach when they get people to join the EU, but actually have absolutely no respect for when it comes to the attacks on immigrants and on Roma and all the other people that we're seeing attacks on. Are we saying that's okay? Are we saying it's okay for NATO to expand eastwards and to say, as Rasmussen said a few weeks ago, that the Russian threat means every single country in the EU and in NATO has to pay more for defence spending to counter this new threat? Are we saying that's okay? Are we saying it's okay to impose sanctions, which in every other case have led to war in countries like Iraq and in terms of the suffering, as they are doing with Russia? Are we saying that's okay? Because if we're saying that's okay, then I think there is a fantastic problem with any idea of left-wing politics which comes out with that. And I think Andrew is absolutely right to say, if you think the biggest problem here in Britain is Russia, you must be mad to tell the truth. And I think that we have to reject that. Final point is about the mobilisation. You see, this is about what we do, not just about what we say. If we can agree, we won't agree on absolutely every bit of analysis, even the people who want to have the campaign, but if it's about what we do, because no campaign is worth anything unless we are involved in activity, that's solidarity with the people who are suffering in the Ukraine, it's solidarity over the whole neoliberal agenda and the American Vice President, we were reminded tonight, the American Vice President's son has become a director of one of the biggest companies, private companies in, in Ukraine, it's about that. It's also about saying our main enemy is here at home with our government. That means we do fight to build a campaign against NATO, to build a campaign against these manoeuvres, and to build a campaign to give them a very, very warm welcome when they come here <laughs> at the beginning of September.